All right, now we're going to do the medieval practice. It's this one. It's in your week five lab folder. Um, I'll click on the index and then click on my go live button so we can see it. There it is. It's the same CSS Zen Garden HTML document that you're familiar with from the last lab. Um, in the medieval style practice, you'll find a PDF or a PNG of this. This is the final result. This is what we're looking for. And the assets folder should have, uh, there's the finished result. Yeah, um, that means I can just close this out. Uh, in the images, you'll see that there's a background.gif. This is going to be our background. And there is a heading background.gif. So you can see um, the background.gif is going to repeat this time. And the heading.gif is going to be inside the, let's see, that must be the h1. There's h2. It must be in the h3. Then we're going to take care of these links, these internal links, and we're going to make them all red and have no underline, except if you hover over it. That's what that says. The links should be red and not underlined. When you hover over them, show the underline. So that's what we'll do. So back to the index, the first thing I need to do is add my style tags. Let's add the background image. And it'll be the background.gif. And like I said, this one is not going to repeat. So we're going to save and just take a peek at, oops, not that. Did I already do that? Oh, yeah, this is the go live one. Have you noticed the go live one updates automatically without having to choose refresh? So I'll just keep it uh, handy right here. Now let's move on to the H3. We know that we need that one image in there. So let's add that tag. Whoops, I forgot to choose the URL. This is the heading bg.gif. And that one we do not want to repeat, so I'll go ahead and set that up. So uh, let's again just take a quick look at how big this is. You can see how tall it is and how wide it is. It's kind of two angled in curly Q things. It's very medieval looking. Yep. It is 70 pixels wide by 36 pixels tall. So let's take a peek at what it's looking like. Well, I can tell already we can't see the whole thing, right? That's just the top part of it. So I'm going to have to increase the height of my H3 in order to set that up. And I already know from last exercise that I need to give it some padding on the left so that my text will scoot over to the right. So let's do those two things. I'm going to give my h3 a height of, let's see, it was 30, so I'll say 36. And some padding left. And it was 70, so I'll go 75. Oops. Let's see what that looks like. It's looking pretty good. I also remember that the, is it right here? No, that's the other one. I also remember that the H1, uh, H3 needs to have a white background, so let's put that in. I'm going to put it at the top because typically you do color before everything else. Uh, this is background color. Now I can type white. Save. You can see you saw it appear there. You can see what that looks like. Or I could give it the hexadecimal code. 
of hashtag FFF. You saw that turn white again, maybe. You can see. There it is. It looks the exact same as writing white or something you learned in your last Khan Academy lesson. I could do the RGB. RGB parentheses 255 comma 255 comma 255. What's that? It is the hexadecimal number for FFF. I'll just leave that there for now because later on we're going to collapse these three to see what they look like. But there are a few problems here and let's talk about them. The first one is that I would like to add some padding to the top here because I want the road to enlightenment to be moved down a little bit. So let's do that. Um, 10px maybe. I want it to be equal white space on the top and on the bottom. Oops. Save. And let's see what that looks like. Ooh, why did it add padding? so much down there. I wanted the padding to be inside the box. So look, this is a perfect example of why box sizing works. I do not want my browser to add the height of my image, which is 70. Uh, how tall is it? I can't remember now. 70 px? Um, no, 36 px. I don't want it to add the padding to my box. I want everything to stay inside. Don't put padding inside my box. So I'm going to do the box sizing, box sizing tag. And the answer is border box. Let's see if that fixed it. Yes, beautiful. Um, it is fixed now, but now that I see the 10 at the bottom and the 10 at the top, just visually, I think 8 at the top might be better. So let's go to the padding top and change it to 8. Oops, 8. Yeah, isn't that better? Yeah, yeah. OK. So now let's work on the links. That's going to be the A tag. I want to say color. I'm just going to say red. Save. Let's see if my links are now red. Yes, they are. I could always say. Uh, Hashtag F00. Let's see if it's still red. Of course it is. That's the hexadecimal code. Um, and then we want to say text decoration none because I know you haven't memorized these tags yet. Maybe. But maybe you have. Where is none? There it is. Save. The more you do it, the faster it happens. OK, now there's no text decoration. Now we just need to add the hover. That's the last part here. Um, I'm going to go below the A tag and create a pseudo class, A colon hover. And what I want to do is say the same things except text decoration. I'll just copy and paste that here. Instead of none, I want to say underline. Save, and there it is. So when I hover, see that? Very nice. All right, now I want to just change all of these tags into something that's a little bit easier to type. It might not be easier to read, but once you start coding a lot, you'll want to do things like this. So I've got padding left, padding top, and padding bottom. The padding works like a clock. It will do top, right, bottom, and left. So let's create a new tag that says just padding. The top is, oh, I can't see. The top is going to be 8. And then we skip a space. 
and the right is going to be 0. We don't have any padding on the right, and then skip a space. On the bottom it's 10, skip a space, and on the left it is 75. That's the big one. So let's comment this. We're saving it just in case I've made a typo and see how things look. My left padding didn't work. Did I do 8, 0, 10, and 75? 8. Oh, I didn't do the PX. 0, 10, and 75. Looks like that happened. But something else happened there. Did I do something wrong? 8, 0, 10, 75. Oh, here's what happened. I needed my comment to end there. Save and refresh. Uh, let's collapse these. So now I'm going to try a background tag called just background. And background semicolon. And I'm going to say pound FFF, and then I'm going to skip a place, and I'm going to type URL, and I'll go get my URL again. This is the heading.gif, and then I have to use my arrow key to get outside of that so I can skip a space and type no repeat semicolon. Now again, I will just comment over this just to disable it. And let's take a peek. So it still looks the same. It still looks good, but what I've done is I've taken all of this and I've changed it into one line. And I've taken all of this and changed it into one line. Good trick, right? Plus we had practice on the box sizing. All right, see you for week six.